So hi everyone and welcome. This is a short screencast um, that's just going to talk you through the process of starting your journal. So if you've read the introduction to the study guide, you'll see that we've recommended very strongly that this is something that you uh, take part in every week. And so I thought it would be useful just for those of you who might not be familiar with journal writing or for those of you who might not be really sure of our expectations here um, on what is involved in starting a journal for this subject. So first of all you might want to think about just exactly what a journal is. So another way of thinking about a journal would be um, as a diary. But very simply a journal is just a place where you can write down your thoughts and feelings and ideas about different topics or things that have happened during the day or during the week. Um, why we are asking you to start a journal in essay writing, some of you might be wondering about that. There's two main reasons. At the end of this course, at the end of the 13 weeks, you're going to be asked to submit your final piece of assessment which is called the reflective composition. So by doing some reflective writing in your journal every week or more often if you um, want to, you'll actually be preparing material that you can draw on for that final assessment. So you don't need to worry about the assessment at the moment but you do need to understand by doing some weekly journal writing that is getting you ready to have that completed in time and at the end of the course. The other reason why you'd be keeping a journal is that it's going to help you as you process the new ideas and material that we'll work through as part of the study guide each week. So it's a place where you can work through and note down things that you might not understand or things that have really grabbed your attention or things that you might want to ask your lecturer about uh, and that can be a really valuable way of tracking your progress as you go through the course. The next thing you need to think about and this is really important is who you're writing for in your journal and there's a very simple answer to that question your journal writing is purely for you no one else is going to read it unless you want them to and your lecturers will only read your final submitted reflective composition and that might be based on some entries that you make in your journal but it definitely will not be the whole thing so you need to feel free to write whatever you like as you undertake your weekly journal writing. So probably the most important thing to think about at this early stage of the course is just how to get started. So the first point is there, choose your format. Where and how are you going to write your journal? So some people might just choose um, to write in something as simple as a school exercise book every week. Um, you might choose to have a folder with some loose leaf paper if you like to work that way and keep everything, keep all your reflective writing in the one place. You might like to do it electronically so just start a new Word document, save it to your computer, call it Essay Writing for University Journal and each week you can just go there and do some reflective writing and update the file as you go through the course. Um, Another option might be to actually start a blog, an online web blog, if you're very um, computer literate and you feel you have the time to do that. They can be either public or private. Um, if the idea of that appeals to you but you're not exactly sure how to do it, please just get in contact with me and I can talk you through the best way and the simplest way to do that. The second point there is that it's really important to set time aside to write each week in your journal. So you need to put a space into your study timetable for writing in your journal and here you're going to need to be flexible. Sometimes you might write for five minutes, other times for an hour. The important thing is to do that regularly. If you're stuck for ideas on what to write, use the prompt questions at the end of the module in your study guide and make sure you don't censor yourself in any way. As I say, no one else is going to read it so you don't need to second guess yourself with what you're writing. And finally, the most important thing with your journal writing is to enjoy yourself. 